hi guys today in this video we will check the performance of java loops such as normal for loop next for each loop for each loop and for each method which is newly introduced in java 8 like my list and uh, one new method introduced in java 8 that is for each method so this three loops will check the performance which is executing faster so let us first create a list list integer my list new new array list integer so I have created a list now I will add some elements to the list say for integer i equals to 0 i is less than 10, 000, 10 lakhs i plus plus let us add the elements like this i so this will add 0 to 10 lakhs to this list then this loop is just to add the elements to the list now will will create a for loop and then test the performance for integer j equals to 0 j is less than I'll take this list length size j plus plus so inside the loop I'll 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 create one more list and inside the loop I'll add some elements to the new list let us create this uh, list as a uh, my list to and here we'll say dot add start get it's just like cop copy the existing list to a new list so this is the job of the for loop and we will capture the start time and end time execution start time and end time for the for loop so let us capture the start time and is the end time which which will show us the exact time it took to execute this code 
नेक्स्ट इज उल यूज ए फॉर इच लूप फॉर इंटीजर आई विल से के फॉर ईच एलिमेंट इन सैड दिस लू इन सैड दिस आर ए मई विन लिस्ट टेकन ईच एलिमेंट ऑफ दिस लिस्ट एंड आई विल एड ईच एलिमेंट टू दर ए टू आई मीन लिस्ट टू सो बिफोर एडिंग द एलिमेंट्स आई विल क्लीन द लिस्ट फर्स्ट सो दैट so that the each for each loop will add elements from the beginning of the list so here is k so to know how much time for each loop is taking to do a job you have to catch capture the system time टाइम टाइम टेकन बाई फॉर लूफ एन टाइम माइनस स्टार्ट टाइम सिमिलरली फॉर इच लूप ऑल्सो वी कैन सी हाउ मच टाइम Took to execute the code. Next is for each method. So similarly, we'll use the list, and we have uh, uh, a new method introduced in Java 8 that is for each method. So dot for each method, which will take a consumer as an argument. So Fully implement lambda expression here, so it will be like this: num lambda. Then the same job, what other loops are doing, will do for this job. This loop also. This will be num. सेम वे आई हेल कैप्चर द स्टार्ट टाइम एंड एन टाइम फॉर इच मेथड फॉर इच मेथड एंड ऑल्सो लेट एस क्लियर द लिस्ट बिफोर इन सेटिंग द एलिमेंट इन फॉर इच मेथड एंड देन Will print how much time for each method is taking for each so method start time minus end time. So let us review the code. I have created one list and then I am adding elements to the list. Again, I have created one more list. Just I'm copying the existing list and putting all the elements to the list two. So here I have taken the system time before execution. I'm here I'm executing the code and here after execution. And this will show you how much time it to took to execute the line of code.
and then I am next time clearing the list two so that the next loop will add the element from the beginning of the list before before for each I am taking the system time then here is for for each loop then I am same job same job I am doing here just uh, all I am adding all the elements of list one to list two I am taking next time taking the end time and printing the time taken next is clearing the list two and then taking the system time and and then I am using for each method which is introduced in Java 80 this is a new method and uh, then I am using lambda expression and doing the same job what other loops did I am taking I am passing an argument like a norm and then this is the method uh, argument or parameter and this is the method body then capturing the end time and printing it printing it so that we can come to know how much time it took to execute the line of code so this is our code is ready now we will test which loop is taking how much time you can see here time taken by for for loop 125 for each loop 65 whereas time taken by for each method is 279 milliseconds so definitely for each loop is very faster than all other for loop in java Thank you.